The girl's hands and feet were tied to the chair. A man came in and took pictures of her. At his command, several men with stockings on their heads walked in. Her mouth was stuffed with a rag, and she struggled but could not escape. Then the men smiled and used their cameras to record what was about to happen. Before this happens, Anna was about to meet up with an online friend she had known for a while. She arrived at the date after dressing up. However, when she met with Mike, he drugged her drink, and that's how the first scene happened. Uh yes, sir. Anna was so intimidated by the assault that she was afraid to call the police. Otherwise, the video would have gone viral. She had no choice but to hide at home and cry. After a while, she asked her mother to move or to transfer her to another school. Anna's mother noticed something unusual about her lately, as she often locked herself in her room and would not come out. When Anna was questioned by her mother, she used the excuse of homework to cover it up. However, the devil did not let her go, but intensified. Mike blocked her in a corner on the way to school and threatened to expose the video. He's really a wolf in sheep's clothing. Anna got down on her knees and asked him to let her go. Looking at Anna who was crying and begging for mercy, Mike didn't feel ashamed, but showed an evil smile. He also recruited a group of friends to threaten her to drink the poison. He threatened Anna as his pet and he as her master. Anna drank the special poison again with trembling hands. When she wakes up, she finds herself on the side of the road. But instead of keeping his promise, Mike made a CD of the video and sold it. Soon the villains were arrested by the police. And his mother was devastated to learn of the situation and wanted to kill them. But the incident soon attracted media attention. Anna's personal information was also exposed by the media. So her mother had to help Anna move to another school. After a few years, Anna changed her name and lived in another city. When she grew up, she became a high school teacher. But the nightmare didn't end there. Don't drink water from a stranger or you'll end up unconscious on your desk like this lady teacher. She woke up the next morning. She tried to stand up but felt a pain in her feet and almost fell down. Luckily, a classmate beside her helped her. She rubbed her sore arm, but suddenly saw the red marks on her wrist and had a bad feeling. Then Anna received a text message from a man calling himself Master, which contained nude photos of her. Master sent her a video. Several strong men tied her up and then violated her. No wonder Anna felt soreness all over her body, and instantly Anna's eyes became moist. In order to find out the truth, Anna went to the security guard to retrieve the surveillance and tried to find out who the master really was. But she got the result that the surveillance had been broken a few days ago, so she couldn't check it at all. Her only lead was cut short the day her boyfriend took her to meet his parents. They were having a good time at the dinner table, but then the old man received a pornographic text message. It was another warning from Master. Master threatened her to send him a picture of her underwear, or he would send her old nude pictures to her boyfriend's parents. Anna had no choice but to go to the toilet and compromise. At night, Anna lies in bed and receives another horrible text message. Master asked her to pick up the gift from the school warehouse this time. She had no choice but to go to the warehouse. Anna looked at the table with a drink on it and was once again plunged into that horrible memory. She completely lost control and raised her hands to cover her ears. But Anna couldn't stop the memories from coming back. In desperation, she took the drink on the table and smashed it against the wall. In order to get rid of the humiliating memories, she finally decided to find Han, a police officer who helped her years ago. She asked Sam to find out who is behind this case. Han has not been a police officer since the case, but he still chose to help Anna. As he investigated further, he found another strange case. The girl's nude photos were posted to the class group. The eyes of the class were turned to her. Lily ran out of the classroom in disgrace. The teacher reacted and immediately asked the class president to confiscate all the cell phones from the class and prevent the photo from being further forwarded. She then found Lily, a female classmate, and asked her carefully, but she asked Anna not to call the police. Lily thought that the class president was very suspicious because the two of them are a couple and she saw many indecent videos of her classmates on the class president's computer, including hers. Then Lily deleted the videos. That day, the class president approached Lily and said that his videos were his precious revision materials. However, this scene was clearly seen by Anna. In order to find evidence, Anna followed the class president to the bar. But the group immediately found the teacher hiding outside the door. She was so scared that she ran outside. She was chased all the way and was saved by Han. She learned it from Han that the class president had uploaded various indecent videos on the internet with victims ranging from elementary school to high school. This is simply abominable. In the end, 
and personally followed a Pong and beat him up and forced him to reveal the identity of the class president. It turns out that the class president has a father who is a prosecutor, so the matter was suppressed. Then he also learned it that there was a big boss in the class president's network since he only communicated with the other party through text messages and emails. There was no way to check the other parties at address. Just then, Anna received another video. They were going to humiliate Lily Liv, but Anna, as a teacher, couldn't let her students repeat her pain. In desperation, she sent Han's location and went to the location alone. As expected, she was still unconscious. When Anna woke up, her hands and feet were all tied up. What's even more puzzling is that Lily was the mastermind behind the whole thing. It turns out that Lily's live broadcast was all self-directed and her purpose was to trick Anna sympathy and trust. The class leader is just Lily's henchman, and the live broadcast was prepared for Anna and made them gain more profit. Just as they were about to assault Anna, Han led the police to catch the group. Then Han found the location of the boss on his phone and caught a middle-aged man. On the other hand, Anna arrives at the boss's house and sees that the walls are full of awards for the boys' computer competition and the computer in the room showed all kinds of messy websites. Han calls master cell phone. The phone rang from the boy's hand. It turns out that he is the one behind all this. However, the motive of this 10-year-old boy to do all this is for fun. But the law only punishes the underage kid by giving him a critical education. Then he was released and freed. This is the end of the story. The end of the story is really sad. It turns out that the master was a 13-year-old boy. Of course, Korean law provides that minors are not subject to criminal offenses, so the boy did not get any punishment in the end.